Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Uh, we're going to get into Landolfo Delgado against uh, Brian Flores and, and not the former Miami Dolphins coach, the real Brian Flores, who many of you may not be familiar with. Uh, there is a bunch of tape on him out on YouTube and Daily Motion, so you can get familiar with him uh, if you want to. There's, there's plenty of content with him. I was not familiar with him uh, before this fight, but I've been able to study him. Uh, I, I got a pretty good feel on him. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. On all forms of social media, the boxing bookie uh, comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money consistently betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the ticker below. Uh, just buy all a month. Gets you locked in the week. It gets you all the updated perks. Uh, it gets to ask the bookie anything it gets you the updated props like there's no props out on this and we're going to make money on the props on this fight for sure but they haven't dropped yet uh so join the patreon it gets you the updated props it gets you asked to book anything request a video i'll do a video for you uh and most importantly it gets you the lock of the week that lock of the week is gold we hit the lock of the week again last week we hit the lock of the week over and over and over again because it is a lock uh, also subscribe to the other town texas boxing scene on youtube at the texas boxing scene all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all, let's get into this fight. Uh, Lindolfo Delgado is actually, again, DraftKings, I just want to give a little caveat. I typically always use DraftKings. DraftKings is absolutely sucking right now. So they don't have anything up on any of these fights. So I'm using FanDuel again. If you're asking me why I'm using FanDuel, I haven't switched over to FanDuel. I'm not trying to pull. A, I just DraftKings doesn't have anything I need to put out these videos. I need to get out. Uh, I need to let y'all know how to make money. So I'm using FanDuel. All right, Landolfo Delgado, front foot guy, good jab, pretty good boxing skills uh, for a come forward pressure fighter. Quick lead, left hook, counter left hook. He's really really quick and sharp with that left hook. Left hook I think is his best shot. He's got surprisingly good movement and good feet, good athleticism and movement for a pressure fighter, a come forward fighter uh, who likes to bang. Good movement as well. Slips his head offline. He can avoid shots a little bit. Really good pop. Explosive power. He's got one hitter quitter power. There's a lot to like about Landolfo Delgado. I, I think he's an excellent up and coming prospect. I think it's a matter of time until he's a world champion. He's, he's strong. Straight up and down, great power, picks his shots really well. High ring IQ guy, selective with his shots, but good and accurate with his shots. Uh, he has a very wide base, and you're seeing this more and more with, with big hitters, especially specifically Mexican fighters. Very wide, very wide base. Uh, he got a nice shotgun jab that I wish he would use more. He uses it, and it, it, it is it's a violent jab. It, it, it Many times it acts like a power shot. Really good timing on his on his counter hooks. Uh, he's a really good counter puncher, specifically with that with that hook. He stays uh, defensively responsible. He stays behind the guard. He doesn't get out in front of himself. He's fundamentally sound. It's a good prospect. Really, really good prospect. Good feet. Good power. Good fundamentals. He's a good fighter. Good head movement. Doesn't sit still. Doesn't. He's not easy to hit. A lot of the time, pressure fighters, come forward fighters, are easy to hit. Uh, he throws hard. He commits to his shots, and he got pretty decent speed. Like this guy checks a lot, a lot, a lot of boxes. Um, you can't tell. I'm, I'm a fan of of his. Delfo Delgado emerged on the scene. If you remember, on the Errol Spence Mikey Garcia card, which is kind of the first time we saw him. He ended up over at uh, top rank. He looked sensational in his. I, I'm gonna say it was the last time I saw him. Um, that was in March of 2019. He blew away a guy named Jay for the first round. That was five and a half years ago, five plus years ago. Uh, since then, you know he's won a you know a trillion fights in a row, uh, mostly by stoppage. Most recently, he stopped Carlos Sanchez in seven rounds in, in what was a a competitive fight, uh, but he got the stoppage in the seventh round. In what was not his best performance up to that point. Brian Flores, who he takes on, is 26-0-1. Uh, 
Uh, doesn't really have too many names of note uh, on his resume. The one time you may remember, March of April of last year, I'm sorry, he fought uh, Chenard B- uh, Bunch on Showbox, and he's got a win over Placido Ramirez. Uh, Placido Ramirez, you, you, you may or may not have heard of. He's a uh, Colombian, 140 pounds, 26 and 4, lost to Josh Kelly. It's kind of what he's known for. What, what 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 is he in the ring? Well, he, he likes it on the inside. Brian Flores is definitely a front foot guy. A little bit sloppy with his punches. Throws hard, comes forward. Good combination, good power, good volume. He's a pressure fighter. It's just simple and plain. High volume. Loves it on the inside. Wants to get on the inside. Mauls. He's got a jab that he doesn't use enough. Uh, but he you know he mauls. He stays on you. He's a quick starter. He's this is going to be an explosive fight. Uh, I like this fight to end by stoppage, so when we get the props, remember that. Um, a little bit sloppy. He goes to the body well. He targets the body. Aggressive offensive fighter. You, you get the picture. You know He's got that, that Mexican style. He throws a lot of punches. He stays on you. He's a gnat on you, assaulting you, attacking you. But he's a little bit sloppy. You can hit him, and he's not hard to count. He's not very – you know, he doesn't have a lot of head movement. He's not very fast, uh, but he's good on the inside. But he hits too much. And I, I said, great fighters don't get hit a lot. And, and Landolfo Delgado doesn't get hit a ton. This guy gets hit a ton. And that's ultimately going to be the difference in the fight. I definitely like Delgado. I like him by stoppage. I like the fight to go. You know, I, I like the fight inside the distance. Uh, I want to pull up the odds on this. Again, we're using FanDuel just until uh, DraftKings gets, gets their act together. But it's minus 700. I like this. I would make one and a half times my normal bet. So a hundred and fifty dollar bet will make it twenty one forty three. Uh, this is not a great bet, but again, like I said yesterday, parlaying this and Virgil Ortiz, we're on to the start of, of a nice little parlay, a nice little bet. So what I would do is I would make one and a half times bet, uh, and then on this makes twenty one forty three. I would bet for the stoppage. With a props bet, we'll, we'll decide what prop we want to take. But I like for the fight to end in knockout. I definitely like that prop. Uh, I like the fight to end within the distance. I, I definitely like that. And I like their Gallo by stoppage. And I like this with a parlay with Virgil Ortiz. And I think you're building something there. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing. Read boxing blog on all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. Five dollars a month. Link is in the description. Gets you lock of the week. Gets you updated props. It gets you everything you can imagine. And again, we hit that lock of the week, week in, week out. Uh, it is uh, August sixth, twenty twenty four, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. Three D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.